Okay, everyone, it's time for Mushroom Talk. Can't even believe we're saying that. I honestly can't even believe we're saying that. Uh, so, obviously, everyone's been hearing a lot about mushrooms. So, first of all, let me just talk to you about some uh, experiences uh, with mushrooms. First of all, um, I come from Ireland originally. The first mushrooms I ever tried were actually legally purchased in Ireland. You used to actually be able to purchase mushrooms, psychedelic mushrooms, in stores. It was completely legal. Um, long story short, guy drinks a liter of vodka, has a bunch of mushrooms, jumps out of a, an apartment building, everyone blames the mushrooms, and uh, no one talks about the vodka, mushrooms go illegal. So here we are coming into 2020 and I mean Oregon is looking like they'll probably start taking uh, They'll probably be openings for clinics if not next year the year after that um, Where you can actually get mushroom therapy and I mean I just wanted to first of all I mean mushrooms are probably one of the most fertilized versatile organisms on this earth I mean they're on they're creepily similar to you know how they breathe in oxygen that, and very similar to to humans almost um and basically there's so many mushrooms that have so many different benefits to them i mean we've got a, a mushroom blend for our topical cream and you know the likes of lion's mane chaga um turkey tail there's so many different varieties cordyceps um, and then obviously you get down into your psilocybin, psilocin, and a lot of these mushrooms have been shown to improve, you know, memory loss. Um, they've been shown to uh, detoxify the system, and then psychedelic mushrooms. I mean, from all different varieties, have shown to basically help to repair, uh, you know, tough memories or tough times where we've you know haven't been able to get over stuff and i just wanted to know what are your thoughts have you been reading into this at all have you ever used mushrooms yourself um we used to pick them in ireland we'd go up uh during the season in october we'd pick them we'd eat them wet we'd actually put them in tea and we'd all sit down and uh and have a few cups of tea and i mean we certainly we certainly i wouldn't i know you can call it healing but we certainly had a, a lot of fun to say the least and uh and at the same time i'm delighted to see this is now in, in a way coming online for its medicinal purposes there is a recreational side to mushrooms too um but at the same time i don't really think it's something that should be used for that and it shouldn't be touted for that either i mean it's really there to replenish yourself i mean i was reading some studies of people being in the military that overnight have had more success with mushrooms than 10 years of te therapy. And I'm just wondering, are any of you paying attention to this? Have you used mushrooms before? Is this like ridiculous for you to even be hearing about it? I'd just like to gauge from each and every one of you, what are your thoughts on it? And are you excited? Is it something that you would try? And uh, let us know in the comments below. Are you excited for this? Um, I know that we want to, we want to, we want to, not on the psychedelic side right now, but just in, including more uh, mushroom ingredients in our tinctures and our elixirs and stuff like that, um, really just help seal the deal for how beneficial all of these ingredients work together. So, as I said, right now, if we were to look at some of the states quickly with mushroom, uh, mushroom legislation right now we have denver colorado and oakland california and oregon um both uh, so denver colorado and or and uh oakland california both signed legislation to decriminalize magic mushrooms opening the door for researchers to explore potential medical benefits um we also have an uh oregon became the first state to legalize psychedelic mushrooms go oregon um and so this is the start, you know, if we look at other, in other countries, I mean, or Ireland, big letdown that they, that they banned it. Um, but uh, we have uh, currently legal in Brazil, Bulgaria, Jamaica, Netherlands, and Samoa. Apart from that, majority of other countries have either decriminalized them, um, either have them uh, 
decriminalized for possession um, or else they're straight up illegal. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Are you excited? Um, I know that I am. And I know that if there's an avenue for us to be a part of it, we will. But for right now, just focusing on the, the current legal ones, as I said, cordyceps, turkey tail, lions, mane, and including them into some tincture blends is really the next move for us. But just wanted to see, because I know that some of these clinics are probably going to be opening up soon in Oregon. So let us know what you think uh, in the comments below. If you like the videos, subscribe. If you don't, probably not going to watch our videos again. And if I didn't watch like videos, I wouldn't watch them either. But the ones that I do watch repeatedly, I do subscribe. If that's you, subscribe. Let's go.